Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Well, that escalated quickly. When the YouTube comment section gives you lemons, you make the best damn lemonade there's ever been. So when I was recording my spoiler and spoiler-free review of the new Candyman movie, I knew that there would be some weak-minded people who would respond this way. Because there always is. I mean, I literally got called racist last week because I said I didn't like anime. Fuck me, right? So chew on that for a second, just for context. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to look at a couple of comments that I'll never see the light of day because YouTube has already blocked them. But I'm going to show you them here today just because I believe it's always important to embrace your haters. And so I can show you just how crazy the world has become. Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Keep in mind, these are responses to my personal opinion about a movie. An unintelligent, heavy-handed movie, but a movie nonetheless. First up, we have this gem. Pathetic, absolutely idiotic. Already starting off with the constructive criticism, I see. No one gives a shit about a micro-aggressively racist review. So according to this person, because I didn't like a movie, I'm somehow expressing negative attitudes towards a certain group of people. Or... I'm just reviewing a movie, honestly. He goes on to say, white male centering in cinema is done. Get over it, clown. I could have had a heart attack and died live. <laughs> That's an interesting, uninformed comment right there, considering I regularly praise non-white movie icons in my videos. That you are basically so ignorantly claiming never existed. Denzel Washington, Wesley Snipes, Will Smith, Eddie Murphy, all people that I love and people that apparently have never been the center of a movie before, according to this person. And I regularly pay tribute to these people in my videos by using clips of them from movies that I like that they were in. But I wouldn't want facts to get in the way of the fantasy world you've created in your head. Ha ha, very funny, motherfucker! And then we have this guy, you are fucking stupid, your movie reviews are shit. Actually, in the comments, I regularly get told that I come off as very well-spoken and intelligent. So I'm going to play the averages here and say that I'm doing all right. You, my friend, are just incapable of hearing another person's opinion. Maybe try being a little bit more open-minded in life, and maybe you'll be a little bit happier. Check out the big brain on Brad. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. This is just a taste of the things that I see in my comment section. To be clear, most people are very kind. And even when they don't agree, they are respectful to me and are willing to have a conversation, which is all I really ask. Unfortunately, society is catering to people who feel a little bit more insecure. You know, the people who resort to name calling in the comment section of a movie review? Let's gut the freaking nerd. So why is this happening? It could be that narratives were being built for this movie before it even came out. So Jordan Peele's assistant director, Ian Cooper, had an interview back in June where he shrewdly stated that his issue with fandom is that they are problematic. That's one of those hot button terms that they use when they want to insult people who don't like their shitty movie. He goes on to say that fandom is typically abrasive and resistant to change. This was an obvious attempt to lay the groundwork for a built-in excuse if people were upset about this movie. So ultimately, when they release this movie about Candyman that kind of disregards the character and story that came before it, they can now place that blame on the fans who are calling them on their bullshit. And this is the best part. At the end of the interview, he clearly states that they're doing something mischievous with how they address this movie's relationship to the original. This tells me that they knew what they were doing didn't really make any sense in the context of the first movie, and that they did it anyway, with complete disregard for the fans of this character. Fuck you! <laughs> you know, I actually took the time to look at some other reviews for this movie, some more positive reviews, just to see what people were saying. And a lot of people on YouTube who reviewed this movie said that fans of the original Candyman should like this movie. Based on some of my interactions with fans of the original Candyman, that's not 100% accurate. And it kind of paints this narrative like if you don't like this movie, then you're not a real fan of Candyman. There's a lot of people of all races and backgrounds who didn't care for the way that Candyman 2021 turned out. Some people might be afraid to express those opinions for fear of being canceled, but if there's one thing that I learned in my time on YouTube, it's that people are slowly growing tired of agenda-driven entertainment. Even people who resisted that idea before are starting to see it now. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. 
Because most rational people just want to go to a movie and be entertained for a couple of hours. They don't want to be slapped across the face with heavy-handed commentary. Basically what I'm saying here is that everyone should continue to speak their truth. And don't let Hollywood big shots or YouTube commenters bully you into feeling a certain type of way. There's plenty of people on YouTube and out in the world who will tell these very negative people everything they want to know just to appease them. Dare to be someone who speaks their mind and is perfectly fine with a couple people hating them for it. God damn right, that's the only way I work. So let me know what you thought about all this in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Shut up.